Welcome to Good Works Tractors. From snow to mow, Good Works Tractors is the place to go. Shop GoodWorksTractors.com, subscribe to our channel below, like our Facebook page, and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. All right, so last video I posted about this John Deere X739, I got a little bit of flack about stating that I had never used, not once, the washout port, not just on this tractor, or mower but on any mower so just not my style in fact um, you know I looked up underneath there there's really not even much buildup on there so I don't know what all the, the huff and puff is about but um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hook this thing up here and we'll run it so as far as I can tell what you want to do is turn the turn the mower on adjust that mower deck so it can sit as low as possible to kind of I don't know if it's create a vacuum or suction or whatever it is but or just keep that water somehow in there as long as possible um, I've seen where you should run from two to five minutes so I don't know I'll probably go somewhere in the middle of there and then we'll uh, we'll turn it off and we'll see how it looks if it looks any better but really it doesn't look very bad underneath there as it is so this tractor has 38.2 hours on it right now probably 28.2 of those or so are mowing the lawn and so I just got done mowing here as well so you know there's some fresh grass clippings underneath there or at least there should be uh, along with some of that build up on there but again it's not very extreme so we're going to see how this works and i don't know maybe for some reason 38 hours or 28 hours of mowing isn't enough to accumulate that or now i do try to always uh, mow when it's dry conditions out it doesn't happen all the time you can see i've got some build up on here just because i have mowed on occasion when it started to rain and it's sometimes unavoidable but maybe that has something to do with it versus mowing in wet conditions all the time as well so We'll turn this on, we'll fire it up, we'll see how it goes. Okay, well that was about three minutes or so. We're gonna see how it looks underneath there. Hmm. Well, I guess it looks a little bit better. There's still some buildup in certain spots. Pretty clean overall. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this disconnected here. And then uh, I'll drive back and we'll see if there's anything significant that's on the driveway or not. Now I will say there's some grass that's in here. And I wondered how it would perform with the grass in there. If it would push it through or restrict the flow. I don't really know which one it did. There was a decent amount of buildup still, uh, pressure buildup there when I took this off. So I don't know if that allowed enough water to go through there or not. However, I mean, this design here has to account for some grass clippings to get trapped in the uh, overflow or in the uh, washout port there. You guys seeing what I'm seeing? That's that's pitiful. I think that was a waste of my time. 
Yeah. You know, plenty of water that got underneath here. You can see really the outline of the deck over on this portion here. So it was really all trapped right underneath there. Not much water got over to this side. Again, I don't know if that was due to um, the design of it or if it was due to it being clogged somewhat with the grass clippings that are in there. You know, I actually before, I don't know if you saw it or not, but I had uh, a screwdriver and I scooped up a little bit of the clippings out of there. But so there was a handful of clippings in there, but not not jam packed. But that is um, not very impressive, if you ask me. I think what I'm going to do later on this fall is when it's difficult to avoid wet conditions, when I'm doing a lot of really heavy leaf pickup, the next month or so as more and more leaves start to drop and days get uh, cooler temperatures and cooler at night and still have the sprinklers on, maybe there will be more moisture that's um, in the grass when I'm mowing it and, and the leaves and everything else and so maybe that'll allow more material to stick underneath there and produce different results. So uh, if I notice anything underneath that deck, I guess maybe I'll try that again in another month or six weeks and we'll see. But at this point, I have no desire to ever hook up to a washing a washout port again. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you would take a moment, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, check out goodworkstractors.com. Say goodbye to Rosie and have a great day.